eastern part of Ghana in the greater Accra region. Uh, it was carved out uh, of the former Dambe West District on 15th March 2012 as a result of a redemarcation exercise undertaken in the context of decentralization reforms in the country. The district has Dodoa as its administrative capital. Well, when it comes to the socioeconomic status of this constituency, the district is predominantly rural with 76.7% of the populace living in rural communities with only 23.3% of the uh, residing members in urban and peri-urban uh, settings. Also, agriculture is the main stray of the district economy, employing 58.6% of the working population. Now let's talk about the political history of, of Shio Sudoku. And it has a voter population of 47,475 uh, registered voters as of 2020 voter register exercise. It is considered as a stronghold of the National Democratic Congress uh, since 2000. And the current member of parliament is Honorable Linda Obinewa Akwili Oklu, who is right here with us today. As a, she is a politician, economics banker, and an insurer by profession. Uh, we are going to make them introduce themselves as well. And as you know, uh, Women's Manifesto is dedicated to women uh, leaders and political, or I mean, parliamentary candidates in different constituencies. It is also supported by Star Ghana Foundation, with thanks to Foreign uh, Commonwealth and Development Office. My name is Judith Brown. I'll be your host for today. So first, let's start with an introduction, and let me start with you because this is your first time contesting as an independent parliamentary candidate in Chaduka or Osudoku. Tell us about yourself. Thank you very much. Um, my name is Gifty Hammond. Um, I hold, um, I'm, a, I'm a journalist by profession. Um, I'm a proprietor. I operate schools. Um, I'm a queen mother, development queen mother uh, for one of um, Shai Osudoku's um, urban areas, which is um, um, Ajina CPM in Parkro. Um, this is the little I can say about myself, and um, the competition here has been very interesting, mm. and we are hoping to have a very wonderful conversation today. It, it indeed has been a very interesting competition here. Now let's, let's head to my left, because we have the current Member of Parliament for Shio Sudoku right now. Can you give us an introduction of yourself? Thank you so much. My name is... If you could have some silence. Your MP is introducing herself, please. My name is Honorable Professor Linda Obinewa Akwele Oklu. I'm the current MP for Shai Osudoku constituency. I'm a mother of six, and I hold master's degree in banking. So I'm a banker by profession and a legislature. So you hear them for yourselves. We have the current sitting MP for the Shai Osudoku constituency, Honorable Linda, as well as an independent candidate. She's contesting for the first time right here in this constituency. She's also uh, here with us, uh, Honorable oh, Gifty Hammond. If, if you win, we'll call you Honorable then. <laughs> right, and so let's start with you, Gifty. Um, tell us, this is your first time contesting. Why have you decided to contest the parliamentary slot here in Shao Sudoku? I come from Agomeda, just here. I'm a citizen of Shao Sudoku. I decided to contest this time around because um, Shao Sudoku has been a stronghold for the NDC over the years, I think over 32 years now that we've been voting. Yeah. And um, the current MP is also NDC. And um, I wonder why, upon all the strong support we are giving to the NDC, our constituency is lacking behind. I realize that there has to be a competition. Something has, because we have bad roads, we have bad water system, we have no clinics and hospitals. Things are going really bad. And so if there, were de if there was development in Shio Sudoku in the first place, we, I wouldn't even waste my time contesting. But looking at the fact that there is no development, our people are going through a lot, I decided to step up and stand in for my people. And this is why I decided to contest. Now, 
let's come to you, Honorable. You contested the slot, uh, I should say, after some unforeseen circumstances in 2016. This is your third time contesting the parliamentary slot for Shia Sudoku. It is an NDC stronghold. Tell us, why are you going again? Um, thank you so much. Uh, let me use this opportunity to welcome Media General to the beautiful city of Shio Sudoku. Thank and you. also let me thank my cherished uh, viewers out there. And then the people of Shio Sudoku are also watching. Let me also use this opportunity to thank them for their massive support all this while. My dear, uh, you know the circumstances that led to my contest. Uh, my late husband is a member of the NDC and had this passion to develop the constituency. So when he died, the people decided to give me the nod so that I can continue with the beautiful ideas that he had already started. And so I, I decided to contest on his behalf so that his dreams, whatever he wants to do for the people of Shai Osudoku, will materialize. And exactly what I've done, in fact, I've served in a term of two terms in opposition, but my dear, I'm not boasting. I've done a lot, and they can attest to the fact that I've done a lot for the people of Shai Osudoku. And I believe, I believe that 2024 is a year for John Dramani Mahama, our incoming president. And this is the time for me to work better for the people of Shao Sudoku. So I have to recontest, I have to contest again, just because my president is coming. I've served the people very well, but my president is coming, and I have to contest for them so that I can really develop their constituency. Rome wasn't built in a day, my dear. Rome wasn't built in a day. We start from class one before you get to class whatever you have. So that is exactly what I started. Well, well, let me ask you one more question before I come to Gifty. And you say that you've done a lot. I've done a lot. You've been given two terms, exactly. which means eight good years. Eight you've done good a lot. Years. Um, you, you definitely contested with some promises to the people. Sure. Have you been able to fulfill each and every one of them? I can't fulfill all promises within two, uh, eight terms in opposition. I have done my best, like I said. Those that I have to add, I've done it. And like I said... When I was campaigning at Apese, I told them, I'll give them light today, they have light. My dear, when I was contest, I told uh, uh, my people, I'll give them water, I've done that. I've told people, I'll help them with the educational support, I've done that. I've told them, I'll give them clinic. Through Qatar Charity Foundation, I've built clinic for them, chips compound, for even where we are now. I've given them toilet. I've, I've rented a chips compound here that is fully funded by me. I pay rent every monthly as, as I'm speaking to you now. So I've done a lot. And when I come to my project, you will attest to the fact what I've done. Indeed. So we will be able to judge for ourselves uh, when we see the type of projects you've done. Now, Gifty, Honorable Linda says she's done a lot. You say you're contesting because you believe a lot has not been done. If you are to judge her work on a scale of one to 10, how will you score her? Yes, um, I'm aware that Rome wasn't built in a day, but Rome crawling for eight years without good water system for our, our children is really bad. And I will attest to that. Rome wasn't built in a day, but my, uh, the children of Shao Sudoku having to cross, walk through water, to remove their shoes, walk through water before they can go to school because there's no school in their area. I would, we will attest to that. Rome wasn't built in a day, but um, uh, not having ordinary um, BP checker in some of the constituencies uh, districts. We will attest to that. There is no work. I cannot say that she has done five percent in eight years. If this was her first time, we would have considered. She has not done enough. So you're giving her five percent. Five out of ten is all I Five can give her. And that is if she's able to prove that she has done something. And, and you say five out of ten is not good enough for eight years. You see, um, I have seen chiefs, one single chief, transforming an entire village. I have seen individuals building their own homes. I have seen business people transforming communities. So if you are an MP for eight years, 
and you are talking about street lights, then I am surprised because I have distributed as an independent candidate a lot of street lights. And I will attest to that. But you, you might have distributed street lights, but it might not mean that she hasn't done that. Are you saying she has I not never distributed said, any street lights? I never said she didn't do it. She said she distributed street lights. And I said for eight years, if street light is what we need, then as an independent candidate, I have also distributed. It is good enough, but it, there are a lot of communities that don't even have electricity. So where did you distribute the street lights? You have done some, but we want more than ordinary street lights. We want more. Well, we're yet to hear, we're yet to hear what both of the parliamentary candidates here, women parliamentary candidates, have to offer if they're given the slot or the parliamentary slot. Now let's come back to you, Honorable. We're going to start with the kind of policies that you have, or projects that you have embarked on in your eight years uh, of service here in the constituency. Uh, coming here alone, we saw that the road was under construction. It seems the road here in Shayok, Osudoku, is quite deplorable. What do you have to say about that? What have you done as a current MP to make sure that the roads here are made better in a better state for people to use? No, thank you so much. In fact, before I come back to the road, I want to tell my independent candidate, it looks as if she wants to attack me. We are here to project our project. Whatever you, you want to do for the constituency, exactly what she must focus on. She's telling me that Rome wasn't built in a day. My dear, she's coming from Agomeda. Can you, she pick point a project she has done from uh, at Agomeda? Can she pick point just one project? She says she's coming from Agomeda. She should tell me just one project. The schools that she says she has built, it's a lie. It's like, can she tell us where the schools are so that we will go there and find out? I, My I, dear, I believe, so I believe she should tell the response. people what she wants to do for the people. She should stop attacking. If not, my dear, my dear, please, she knows what I can do. So she let, should let, go there. Let's calm down. She but, should but not but go there. But I believe that that question requires she a response. So, because, so before you like come you to said, your project, as, before you as, come to your project, let's get a response from her response to as that. to whether or not she is she has actually done any project in terms of schools there, in there the area she's coming here, from. So if she's done something, we would hear from them, but let's hear so from she, you. What she, have she you done? And, and, and what did you call it? Agomeda. Yeah, hold on. It is rather unfortunate that my colleague here is um, thinking that I'm attacking her. This is not an attack. I just um, said what she said to cite an example. We are not here to fight. We are here to prove a point for the people to be able to decide on the 7th of December. And she was saying that um, me saying I have schools as a proprietor is a lie. Anybody here should Google Pinks and Blues International School on Facebook. And was, it, was, it was it built, was it built by yourself? That she's talking it, about your my, my business, my personal business. My dear, we want to know projects. We want to know whether you, you have, have project uh, hold on. done any projects hold in, the, on. in that, in I that area. I have done projects here. And when we get to the project session, you will see them. But she was asking if I have been able to do any project in Agomeda. That, if that I were the MP for eight years, I would do a lot for my people in Agomeda. I, will, I am not the MP, and that is why I have come to do for my people in Agomeda. I have been able, I have been able to do a lot of projects all around. And my people in Agomeda, I am sponsoring a lot of people's education in Agomeda. I am doing my personal bit. A lot of people are supporting them in Agomeda. All right. Okay, she says that we will see the projects when we come to that. When we come to the point where we show the projects, All right. we'll see what she's done. So let's start with you. What projects have you done? With regard to, let's start with the roads, the roads yes. in particular. Uh, as MP in opposition, what you have to do is to speak on it on the floor of parliament. You invite the minister to come on the floor of parliament because as far as I'm concerned, the roads were awarded in 2016 before NDC lost the contest. So hoping that the contractors will continue with the project. As I'm speaking to you now, there's no contractor on the road. But as MP, I have series, I have series of videos that have spoken on the floor of parliament, inviting the minister to tell us the status of our road so far because you know the assembly doesn't belong, it's DC. DC is an MPP. So what I can do, I mean, for myself, 
is to reshape some of the roads and exactly what I've done. Reshape we will not solve the issue right there. We need asphalt because this is where the quarries. Greater Accra, we have the largest quarry in Shai Osudoku here. And the funds that comes from the quarry is not something small to talk about. Are you so, saying are you saying that you have done your best as an MP to exactly, lobby for the roads? Exactly. Besides, government says that government started the drip project. Yes. Has Shao Sudoku benefited from this project? Yes. And you know the drip project, the, the equipment was mm. purchased by the, uh, the common fund, the district assembly's common fund, which obviously MPs approved on the floor of parliament. When the drip came, the machine is in. I mean, <laughs> what are the DCs? I saw it at uh, Asuchari with uh, their MPP uh, parliamentary candidate poster on it. I mean, <laughs> doing campaign with it. But that drip uh, equipment is supposed to be used for the people. They should use it to, to reshape the roads within the Shire of Sudoku. And that is the reason why all MPs in parliament approve that equipment so that it will be uh, purchased for exactly uh, reshaping the roads within the constituency. But the that machine has not is been there. Done it hasn't what the machine is supposed to be done. It hasn't. It hasn't. It's parked at Asuchari and they are playing politics with it. They are playing I, I have even been told that they say it's sports. So the machine is parked there. I mean, whatever the machine is supposed to be used for, that is not what they are using it when for. When you say they are playing politics, yeah. what exactly do you that, mean? That's what I'm saying. They've given when, the machine, when they started using the machine, I mean, reshaping some of the roads, the MPP parliament was all over the machine with his stickers on it. I mean, but, it's but not I, politics. But I mean, you are the, 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 the sitting MP in this, in this constituency. Exactly. And so how then is the MPP candidates allowed to... So that is it, because their party is in power. My dear, what I can do, I, there's nothing I can do because we have to fight them back. Our people fought them back the other day and they were arrested. I have, as late as one midnight, I have to go to our, our sanctuary to, to, to build them. So that is what we are facing. So currently, what is the current state of roads in Shai Osudoku? In fact, the roads in Shai Osudoku I say is in a deplorable state. And exactly what our incoming president said. He visited the constituency and assured us that when he comes, he'll make sure that all roads within the constituency will be tied. Yes. But you have been in power for eight years. If you weren't able to uh, lobby enough for, uh, I mean, the, the, the roads to be repaired, how sure are we that if the constituency gives you the nod once again for another four years, you'll be able to fix the roads? My dear, Besides, the elections have not been uh, done yet, exactly. and so we do not know who is the president. Exactly. Uh, and that's what I'm saying. I've done a lot. I've contributed. I'll say 50% of my resources has gone into the reshaping of 50%. the roads. 50%? Exactly. Into reshaping of the roads. And I'm saying that Amisha Osudoku is a large constituency. Mm. From here up to a share boundary with Okujeto, it's not a small constituency. So, I mean, no, irrespective of what I've done so far, my idea is not enough. And that's why I'm saying that. I'm praying that my party will come to power so that we can... Uh, issues of road will be a, a thing of the past because even Mahama decided to build a bridge at Volivo, Volivo, and that has a link with all the adjoining roads within the constituency. And when the MPP came, that, that uh, project couldn't come on. So I'm hoping that when the party comes to power, I mean, they know what I can do. My people, they know. So when the party comes to power, my dear. I will do that for and, and if you're just joining us, so you're watching Women's Manifesto. We're right here in the Shai Osu Osudoku constituency. And just to announce to all of you, you will all be given the chance to come and ask questions. You can see a microphone on my left uh, and on my right. Uh, there are microphones here for you. So if you have questions, whatever party you are from, whether the NDC, the MPP, or supporting the NDC, Independent candidate here. You can come and ask questions in any language or form you'd want. Now let's come to you, uh, Gifty. Before we move on with the project she's made, she says that it's been a difficult thing trying to uh, repair the roads here due to issues uh, in Parliament. She's been lobbying. Government has not really been responsive enough. She says that she promises to make sure that these roads are fixed if she's given the nod. What do you have to say to that? For eight years, she's lobbying for the roads. And unfortunately, um, it has to be said that the machines that were brought in are being used for politics. When we have a sitting MP we trusted and voted for 
to stand in for us when our equipment are being used for politics. And this is what I'm talking about. As an MP, if your DCE is not working, I think you should raise the point in Parliament. If you raise the point in Parliament and you don't get response, I have seen MPs come into the media to express their problems and individuals sometimes come in for them. We have a lot of queries here. If I were here, I would have gone to the queries, pleaded with them, and asked for some of the chippings we have to start something from somewhere. We have chiefs. We have uh, shy of Sudoku lead people who are uh, well-to-do. They have money. Use what you have to get what you don't have. Okujetu Ablakwa is in opposition. He's doing a lot over there. So what is happening here? You, you are saying that she's been given eight years. She's complained of the fact that usually when the government with which they are from are not in power, it is a bit difficult to lobby. You are coming in as an independent candidate. How sure are we that if you are given the slot, you'll be able to fix the roads in Shai Sudoku? Tell us what you're going to do. What it is is that Shai Sudoku have always supported NDC. We have never turned our back on NDC. And it is a proof here. So if NDC has come to power and left, and then our roads are like this, MPP came to power. If I were in power, I would have used my advantage to let the MPP know that since this is the control your people, I'm talking. Just, you can continue. Don't worry, we can hear you clearly through the mic. Thank you. It's live. Thank you. The NPP is in power. There is a DCE. And you are unable to lobby enough. I would have used the people in the quarry. Every company. Every company have their widow's might to the society. I will use that widow's might to develop my people. She has, she says that she has been able to use about 50% of her resources on the roads. So if you want to talk about widow's might, then she can make the argument that she has indeed used her widow's might to, to, to repair the roads. That's what she says. There is no single road that is repaired in Shio Sudoku. If you can project that, then I will tell you. From Dodowa, when you were coming, didn't you see the roads? Even the current road that is being done, didn't you see the roads when you were coming? From here to Ayikuma is the same. Ayikuma to Asebi, the roads are bad. Asebi to Doyumu, the roads are bad. Um, Doyumu to Asuchari, the roads are bad. All our major roads are really bad. And it's rather unfortunate that the people the people are politicizing this. When we are looking for the way forward, for development for Shio Sudoku, it is unfortunate that we are politicizing such a situation. There are areas that don't even have clinics. And we have to take people to go and deliver, women who want to give birth. Topo, As, uh, Asuchari, Topo, and all those areas. I have evidence of people who went there to deliver. They had to be put on a motorbike. That woman died on the way because there was no hospital and the roads were bad. So you're saying people this are dying we as a about. result of the roads? This, what I am saying is that the roads are harming us. If you could have some silence here so she can make her point. We, we, appreciate, we appreciate all that, but she wants to make a point. Let's, let's allow her to make her point. Please, go ahead. We can hear you Secondly, clearly. Secondly, concerning our roads, the lack of development here in Shio Sudoku is all because of the roads. If at least we have, we have a good road system, we believe that companies would have come in to open businesses for our youth to get jobs. Okay? We, we believe that if the roads are good enough, but if you did your background checks before this program, you will understand what I'm saying. And the people can attest to the fact. I don't know which roads he has done she has done so far but our roads are really bad and i don't know which one she's talking about that she fixed well, well we've had we've had for ourselves we are joined by uh the parliamentary candidate for ppp isaac minimade if you could hand over the mic to him uh, we, we're talking about the deplorable roads in shio sudoku you also try to contest here aren't you yes please. Uh, uh, now tell us what do you intend to do if you're given power well actually the roads are very bad and we believe we have about 50 quarry companies at the Shy Hills. We have the military camp in Shy Hills here. 
We have. If you can have some silence, please. We have. Please. The, we have the chiefs. Please. He's making a point. Let's let's all calm down. Let's all calm down while he makes his point. We, we, we have please the chiefs. Ahead. We have the chiefs in 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 Charles Tudoku here. We have the banana factory here. We have VRA in our constituency. We have the uh, T Row factory in our constituency. It is mandatory as an MP to lobby all these companies to help in building this road because as we speak now, they are using the roads. So when we talk of value, uh, uh, pay for value, they are, they, I mean, they, are, they are taking so much from our land. This quarry, this Please, let's calm down, let's calm down. Are taking so much from our lands. And for that matter, there's a need for you as an MP to lobby through these companies so that they can build a road for the people. Maybe you joined in a bit late, but she has made the point that she has been lobbying and, and there are videos of her in Parliament lobbying for, the, 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 I mean, the roads to be fixed here in Shai or Sudoku. If you are given the nod, I believe we've made the point. I believe we've made, she's, we've made the point about the roads and how deplorable they are. But if you are given the nod, if the constituents should give you the nod, what are you going to do? We are going to look out for uh, investors who come in and build the roads. Investors must come in because we have investors on our lands. And these investors must I mean, invest on our lot. Private land. investors. I mean, build the road first. Come again. Private investors. Private investors are on our land, yeah. And they must, we must, we must push them to build the roads. Because they are, they are picking in our resources away. So there's a need for us to push them so that they can invest on our lands and build our roads. When, 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 when we talk of lobbying, when we talk of lobbying, it's not only in parliament. It's not only in parliament. But within the community, we have rich men who have hotels, factories, and so many things that we can lobby, lobby them so that they can help us build our roads. Right. Uh, so, so we heard him for himself. Uh, let, let's focus more on... Let's, let's kindly be, be a bit calm so that we can hear our members of parliament and the independent candidates as well. Honorable, let's come back to you. Uh, many of them are complaining that probably you didn't do enough lobbying. But what, you've said what you have to say and you say that you've used about 50% of your resources. Let, let's go on to more projects that you have done. The, we are told that there are also issues of water scarcity in Shio Sudoku. What have you been able to do about it? Yo, um, thank you so much. Uh, I want to say something, please. You see, if you are not there, the, the independent candidates and then the PPP candidates, they are behaving like Nanado. When Mahama was working, Nanado said, Yetisikasu Nansu Komdiye. When he was giving the note, he couldn't even, you cannot even compare what the projects Mahama has done, even 1% uh, to what Nanado has done. Mahama has done better than what Nanado has done. So if you are not there, you might think MP is not performing. Are you getting me? All that they are saying, we have quarries. The quarries proceeds. The funds that comes from the quarry, it goes directly to the assembly. It doesn't come to me. And as far as I'm concerned, like I said, I've lobbied enough, I've done enough, Almost 50% of my resources has gone into reshaping of the roads within the Shire of Sudan. So if, if the, if the funds to... are going to the assembly, how are they accounting to you? How, how are they working? Do you think that they are doing their work well? They are, not, they are not doing what they're supposed to do. And what are you doing about it? And that is why I'm saying that, my dear, I have series. I have videos here I can give to your producer. We'll show them very soon. Yes. I, went, I even served on the Government Assurance Committee as the vice chair. The road minister was invited. I have been to the house of the road minister several, just to make sure that he works on our road. In fact, I went to him as a colleague. I said, my dear, you know how MPs are, 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 are how MPs, my dear, the only thing people want to see is our roads. Upon all the projects I've done, a major concern has to do with the roads. I have done that. But, I mean, they are playing politics with it. Knowing very well that Shai Osunoku is NDC stronghold. Like I said, as MP, I'll do what I have to do for the people of Shai Osunoku. And he mentioned Okujeto. Okujeto, you should ask Okujeto whether in this MPP era, 
He has been able to construct any road in uh, North Town. He should go and they just talk anyhow. They don't know what is happening. Okucheto has been a, 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 a staffer and has been, he was in parliament before I went. So my dear, you cannot just say, hey, they should go and see. Go and ask Okucheto whether yeah, he was in government. He should go and ask Okucheto whether in this MPP era he's been able to construct a single road in North Town. So they shouldn't talk anyhow. My dear, I want to focus on my project. Let me focus on my project. I want to tell the people what I've done so far. Right, so you can go time. ahead with some of, the, uh, some of the projects that you've, you've done in this constituency over the past eight years. Uh -huh. In fact, immediate four years since we were given the nod in 2020. Exactly. So let me start with the education. I want to start with the education. Uh, roofing of six unit teachers accommodation at Twapa. Roofing of three unit teachers accommodation at Agbeko Cheko. Roofing of three unit classroom block at Nyapienya. I have built two unit classroom block at Ramazongo. The educational directorate, I noticed that the teachers doesn't go to class when it's classes hours. So I confronted them and what they told me is that there's no money for monitoring. Because of that, I've been giving them 10,000, which is 100 million to do monitoring within the selected schools in Shire Osu, uh, quarterly. When we leave there, there are libraries. We have only one library. I renovated, even though it's not yet completed, I renovated that library to the tune of 1.7 million Ghana cities. Supported BEC students every year with mathematical sets and refreshments. I have um, supported the Agoto with 5,000 Ghana cities to fence their war. I've supported Zongo Community School also to complete their school with an amount of 50 million. And then I've, I've given them 3,000 pieces of dual desks to selected schools within the Shai Osudoku district. I've also provided laptops and desks sell to selected schools within the Shai Osudoku district. Ganata Secondary School is a beneficiary. Osutek is also a beneficiary. When we talk of uh, GES um, appointment, I've been able to help almost 150 of our constituents who have completed teachers' training and are not getting posted. I've posted them and they are working in their various schools. I have also lobbied through Kata Charity Foundation. Today I've built a clinic at Ladawayo Odumse. As I'm speaking to you now, the, uh, the needy but brilliant students have supported over 3,000 students who are now with their educational funds and they are able to further their education. When we come to agri, subsidize we decide to farmers, supported agriculture mechanization, plan for over 200 farmers within the constituency. I brought a SOCO, a cooperative union, that gives our That's women bank. That gives our women's bank. And that SOCO, we give women as, as much as 10,000 Ghana cities. When we give you, you pay for one year. We give you that amount and then you pay after one year, no interest. When we leave there too, our subsidized chemicals, we decide to select farmers within the side of Sudoku district. I've also given fertilizers to farmers within the side of Sudoku district. Okay. Water, okay. sanitation, and health. Water, sanitation, okay. and health. We are health. going to go through this project soon. We have a few minutes to wrap up on TV, and sure. we continue right here sure. on the ground. And so let's get a few words from Gifty. Uh, but before that, we know that... We know that <laughs> Women's Manifesto is supported by Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office. Um, Gifty, she talked about some of her projects with regard to education, uh, agriculture as well. Quickly, briefly for us before we wrap up on TV, uh, tell us what do you intend to do if you're given the nod with regards to education? I would like um, I would like a, a media person. Let's kindly calm down. Let's kindly project. calm down. Please project the school desk and the some of the schools I sent we'll, to you. We'll do that right after we right wrap up. After. So just give us a few of that. I am going to this. I have been able looking on the television. I have been able to provide some of our girls with machines and work. Keep projecting. Mm. I have been able to supply books to most, uh, most of the children right. that are lacking. So if she has been able to, these are some of the things. A urinal for some of the schools, we have been able to do it. I ha these are some of the books we have supplied to the people. Project the markets that I have done for Doyumu. Project the urinal that I have done for the uh, Newtown School. 
project, project all the, this is skill training for our women who do not have work, lack of employment in our constituency. I have been able to build a market for Doyumu as an independent candidate. A market? I have been able a to. Full this market. is a urinal I built for Dodo One New Town School. Over the ages, they didn't have a urinal. I have been able to build a boys and girls urinal for them. It's an ordinary urinal, but the MP for over eight years couldn't build it, and they were pleading for it. And I've been able to do it for them. All right. These are some of the women we trained. Please. Put okay. on the, t the school with Gifty. the desk in them. Gifty. She we'll says she has given we'll some desk to some part two of school. this shortly. Let me quickly wrap up on it. Uh, if, you, if you're just joining us, you've been watching this Women's the, this Manifesto. Is school. This is a school in, just in uh, Shai Osudoku. Right. Project it. She has supplied desks to the school. But we can see only three desks. And this picture was taken yesterday. Okay, Gifty, we'll, we'll continue We shortly. are not going to compromise the welfare of the people of Shai Osudoku. It doesn't matter how much noise they make, we are not compromising. She's not able to help the constituency for eight years and we will not compromise. Because it is election and we cannot predict who is going to be the president. We understand. Is she coming to tell us again, if she loses, that her president is not in power so she cannot help us? You, we are not compromising. Manifesto. Thank you very much. We will not compromise uh, with our welfare anymore. For uh, the Shai Osudoku constituency, it's getting very heated here. Just so you know, Women's Manifesto is supported by Star Ghana Foundation. My name is Judith Brown, and today we have with us uh, the Member of Parliament, the sitting Member of Parliament for this constituency, Honorable Linda. Uh, welcome. Thank you. And then we have the Independence candidate. She is contesting for the parliamentary slot in the upcoming general elections. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Great. If we can all kindly calm down so that we can continue. We're yet to discuss the projects by the members of parliament. We will not continue until you settle down. We will not continue until you settle down. Kindly settle down and let's continue. Right, so we're going to project some of the projects that have been uh, conducted by the sitting member of parliament, as well as the independent candidate here in the Shai Osudoku constituency. And you have been talking about education, agriculture uh, as well. Uh, if we can project some of their projects, she's going to explain to us what exactly she has been doing as a member of parliament for this constituency. Tell us, I'm seeing some desks on our, our screen, yes. if you can explain to us really yes. what you've been doing with that. In fact, like I said, I've given over 3,000 dual decks. What I do is that I present it to the education directorate and they, they select the schools that they want to, to, to distribute it to. So that is exactly what I've done, like I said. So these are so decks these are, you bought? I, my, yes, uh, decks I bought. With your own funds? Or with, my own funds with my own funds, with my own funds, right. So when we come, water, sanitation, and health. Water, sanitation, and health. I have built... Um, well, if we, if we can go ahead with what really we are seeing on the screen, because they are projecting yeah, some the of camera, the project, the you camera. can explain to us. So this is uh, electrification extension I've done so far. I've, I've done over 70 communities. I've extended a light to over 70 communities within the Shire of Sudoku district. So what, what really was the problem that... Uh, required that you extend those ish, uh, the lights. There's no the, light there. No light there at all. Yes, no Not even poles. Sorry. Not even light poles. Not even all. light poles. Not even light no poles. So okay. I've uh, extended light, and I can mention a few of them if you wouldn't mind. Right. Uh, we, we, we are seeing more on the screen. Yes. Um, I train um, the young ones who want to learn. Yeah, it's a skill training, entrepreneurship. So those who want to learn hairdressing, we train them. Those who want to learn uh, seamstresses, we train them. Those who want to learn how to do so, whatever, etc. et cetera. We've trained over 5,000 constituents. And are you saying that has alleviated the burden of uh, constituents in this area with yes. regards to unemployment? Oh, yes. Yes. I would say yes, but we still have to do more because, you know, like I said, we have over 103,000 uh, constituents. The, the figure you said was wrong. So we have a lot of population here. 
But why we are one or three thousand uh, constituents, so you can imagine. I mean, five thousand is not enough. You have to do more. So. Right, so we are seeing more on the screen. I'd like you to speak to these projects we are seeing. So this is uh, Islamic Dodoa school. Like I said, I gave them 15 million, 5,000 to complete their school, which was started by an NGO. So they need their funds to complete. So I, when I send a donation, I also added some decks. And I, this is the library I said. I, I built with uh, an amount of 1.7 million Ghana cities. It's a renovation. Was this like renovation or this yes, was a fully built? Yes, it's a renovation. Built. Okay. Renovation. And why is that con uh, situated? And this, is, this is the Okada riders. All the Okada riders within their constituency have done insurance for them. So they have insurance, insurance for all Okada riders in their constituency. Every single Okada Every rider single Okada has been insured. So if you, are, you don't have them, you are a new member. I've also given lances for... 215, I've got lances. But, but what kind of insurance are you talking about? Is it for this the motorbikes? This is motorbikes? Uh, Provident Insurance. Provident Insurance with a, a sum assured of 3,000 Ghana cities. So in case of any eventuality, you have something to take. I mean, in any of your field, when you are also injured, that one too, but, if you go there, you have... But, but we know that most Okada riders, I mean, we already the activity is not regularized in yeah. this country. We know John Jomani Mahama had a, a plan to do that exactly. in the 2020 elections. Exactly. He wasn't given the nod. The activities are not regularized. So if you're insuring them, isn't this still going to be a problem? My dear, about Okada using... has come to stay. I mean, you cannot say because they don't have the money. Okada has come to stay. And uh, these are uh, young ones who doesn't have anything to do. So we have to encourage them. I even buy motors for those who want me to do for them. So there is no work for them to do. So what else can you do? It's to empower them, encourage them to continue with whatever they are doing. So my dear, it's something that I've been doing. And these are uh, okay. hair dryers. Like I said, I've given over 3,000 hair dryers, over 3,000 sewing machines to my constituents. And you're sure that these women are actually using uh, oh yes, what definitely. You're doing, what you've given them for exactly. the and work. We also give them money to start something. So it's something I've done all this while. So and this machines is a and then startup capital. Exactly, exactly. And this is a toilet project, like I said. So water sanitation and health. That is where I've gotten to. I've built so Sita WC at Odumasi, Dodua Odumasi, A Sita WC at here, Jaglete here, and then four Sita at uh, Dodua Pekong. We've also started some. Liom, Kajanya, Natri, which is something we started. So, Osuwin is something we started. So, uh, at the end of the close of this year, uh, we will make sure that places that they don't have places of convenience, we will make sure we we'll get them one. Yes, it's exactly. Right. And let, let's move on to Gifty. Honorable, we'll come back to you on your project. And just so you know, as I said earlier, you would be given the chance to ask questions to both women seated here. Honorable. Tell us, she's shown us a lot of her projects. Uh, you say you've done a lot as well. We'll continue with uh, your projects and project that on the screen. And then you tell us really what you have been doing in your capacity. Uh, you have not been given the not yet, but uh, as an independent candidate, what have you been doing in this constituency? Tell us. Thank you so much. And I saw my um, former MP or my MP um, handing over machines to some young ladies that are going to learn a trade. As an independent candidate, I have only campaigned for just too much. I started campaigning in August, and in two months, I've been able to give more machines to the people. <laughs> Kindly go on. You, you've been able to give what? That is me, handing over sewing machines to single sewing parents in, in, in Asutari, Topo, and other constituencies that need help. As an independent candidate, not an MP for eight years, these are books. These are, these are books that were packaged for most single parents that didn't have. Please pro project the books. Project the books. Most single parents that didn't have the finances to buy books for their children. Project. Keep projecting. There are more books there. These are books I have arranged to be sent out to be given to single parents. Uh, what single is parents. the quantity? How many have you given? I have given over 500 books to students. Over 500 in books? In Shayo Sudoku. Kindly continue. This is evidence. I didn't give them one exercise book. I've given them full set of books. And you can see it there. Kindly continue the projection. Kindly continue projecting. I, I was able to train most of our women on skill training. 
And this is one of them that has started business with it. I happened to meet her. She came to show me her product. Kindly project and their skill soap? training. Is that a soap product? Project? Look at it. I taught them how to do their own soap. Parazo, and you can see it. I taught them how to do soap. I taught them how to do hair pomade. You can see it. Kindly keep projecting. There are more skill training there. As an independent candidate for only two months. For only two months, you can see the soap, Parazo, and other th I taught them how to do their own yogurt. Mm. And by this, the women are able to feed uh, their children. How many uh, women are we talking about with this training? I have trained this in Dodowa here. I have trained this in Ramatown. I have trained this in Osuwim. Here you are. Here you are. This is Osuwim. I have trained this in Osuwim. This is hair pomade, soap, uh, yogurt, for the, and they are working. As, uh, apart from supporting their children with books, I'm also helping them to get their own trade. Please keep projecting. If you can kindly project I have more evidence. Of their works. Only two months. Two months campaign. And my, 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 my independent. Two months and eight years. Please keep projecting different things. This is Ramatown training, and those are the women there we were training. Kindly skip. This is a urinal. When they approached me, according to them, they have asked the DCE, they have approached the MP, and this school, this school is just at this junction here, not far from where we are seated. They didn't have a urinal. As an independent candidate, within less than a month, I was able to build them a boys and girls urinal, and the proof is there. Continue projecting. Anything so you saying, see, you can project. So you're saying that the school there has no urinal? The MP showed us, the MP showed us evidence of a number of Please urinals. Please keep projecting built anything you see there. The constituency. She showed us no, evidence no of books, other just urinals project that other she's, things, she's built. Eight seater urinals, four seater urinals. So you're saying that there was no urinal here? There was, there's a school just behind her place, Newtown School. And, and not just that, I've been able to do only there. There are many schools without toilets, without urinal, and these are things that individuals could be able to do. Project the market, project anything you are seeing. I have evidence of everything I have done in two months. So it's not about insulting me. It's about looking forward for the welfare of Shayo Sudoku. This is a school. This is a school in Kajanya. And this school has no desk. They have only three double desks. And you can see it there. So where are all the desks that our honorable member sent around? This is, this, look at it. It was taken yesterday. Kindly project every other thing. This is Ayanya Clinic. And this is what I really want to talk about. This is Ayanya Clinic. And this is where Go they ahead. bring sick people. So if you will be here to insult me, when I'm looking at your welfare, it is so sad. This is the clinic they send our children, our mothers, when they are sick. And it is like that even today. This video was taken yesterday. Eight years. This is Ayanya Clinic. I have mentioned the name. You can go there to confirm. It was built by an NGO, Africa Aid. And this is the current state. Look at it. You can see it. Please. My dear mothers, do not politicize your welfare with politics. Look at, look at, look at. This is Ayanya Clinic, the current state of that Ayanya Clinic. This is Ayanya Clinic. That is the evidence you can see there. Please project if you have other things. If you have other things. Okay, it seems that uh, that is what we have. Uh, quickly describe this one and then we take some questions the light is so from everyone. This is Topo School. This is a kindergarten and nursery school in Topo. And this is but a few. This is a kindergarten. They are currently using it. And that is the state of it. That is the current state of it. This is Topo Preschool. You can see for Umamia will now see what that a boy, Betty. Thank you very much, uh, Gifty. And we've been seeing the projects from you didn't project both the, the market. See if you can well see the market, the, and the bridge. MP. 
uh, uh, kindly, I kindly have come been able to build a bridge, take... and they are passing on it. Right. We're going to Market take questions from you in two months. I understand. Um. So if you have questions, kindly line up here. I'll take five questions from uh, my left, and then five questions. Okay, everyone should kindly come to my left. We'll take them one by one. Please calm down. Please calm down so that we can hear the questions. And then a certain MP is here to answer, as well as the independent candidate. They will be answering our questions. Please, can we have the first question? Can you mention your name and you ask your question? Please go ahead and come closer to the mic. All right, thank you so much. My name is Otto Augustine Akumeni. Please calm down. We need to hear the questions. Please, let's settle down. My name is Otto Augustine Akumeni. I want to ask from our sister seated here that in 2020, we heard and we know very well she contested in Ayabasu Central. And as a result, the electorate there said she came deceiving them. So they voted massively against her. So from there, she is here to contest the 2024. One will ask her, why didn't she contest there? Is it that she's just seeking for attention or she's power drunk? What pushed her to come here? That she didn't do any project here. Because she said, she rightly mentioned that she's from Agomeda. And MP asked her to mention a single project she did at Agomeda. And she couldn't mention. So why is she here to contest? And what project did she do here that she want to contest? Thank Please you. Please calm down. Thank you. Uh, let's have about three questions. Then we start the answering. Please come forward. If we can adjust the mic for her. Please calm down. If you want to ask a question, stand there and ask a question. Please go ahead. Ask, I want to ask Madam Gibson whether her name is in the UC uh, register in Dodwasi and in Chai of Sudokuya. My first question. And I said, my first question is I'm asking you whether your name is in uh, UC register in Dodwasi and Chai of Sudoku. That's my first question. And my second question I want to ask you the time we were writing the new registration, where were you? Can I answer that too before? Oh, oh, hold on, one more question. I'll, I'll, I'll prompt you on the questions again. Um, let's take one more question and then it seems most of them are being addressed to Gifty. So please ask your question yeah, and then she you. answers. Thank you. We'll take more, don't worry. My name is Mulua. Please come closer to our mic so we can hear you audibly. Yeah, my name is Mulua. I'm a social activist and, and uh, I belong to the uh, uh, opposition, opposition uh, NDC party. I want to ask uh, Honorable Gifty. Gifty, on your campaign train, your campaign manager, and then yourself, your team, are calling the women of Shao Sudoku that they are lazy. And therefore, when they have been given apron and one CD, they intend to follow the opposition NDC. How then would you come? The same people you are looking out for, they are not. That they should vote for you once you insulted them. My second uh, question or correction is that if you see me, you can see how dirty I am. I rode all the way from Topo to here. The picture you've just shown, you've totally uh, uh, deceived the whole public. That is totally untrue. Topo, 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 Topo. Please let's Toko, calm down. Let's calm Toko down. Toko Dennisry. It's not like that. That is not Toko Dennisry. Maybe it is a different school you are projecting. But to be precise, Toko, Toko to be precise, is never true. And one thing, how are you going to lobby? I'd want to inquire from Auntie Gifty. She said she said she, uh, she's going to lobby for the roads. I can tell you. I am a development activist, and I can tell you an authority. Most of these resources that we have here, it is easier seen than to say and to do it. You've seen the resources over there. 
But when you try to get to these people, to give us even resource, to reshape a, a one inch of road, they will never give you. They will never give you. If you ask the DC, I have been liaising with the DC for reshaping. MP here has done her best in the past eight years, and we must commend her for that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We'll pause, we'll pause with the questions. Please hold on for us. We'll take answers from her because there are quite a lot so that she can remember and answer. I'll give you, um, let's start with him first because he's a, the, the recent one. He talked about the image, the images you showed from Topo and he says uh, that you have deceived the public. He also talked about the roads, that it's easier said than done. And so it's not about simple words. It, it requires a, more, a, a lot more. What do yeah. you have to say? Number one answer to the first question, the answer to the first question, if he stands here to say that that is not Topo, then he didn't come from Topo. That is not, if he says that is not Topo, then the man didn't come from Topo. Because that is Topo and I was there and I looked at it and that is the same place that after we went to look at, that is the, it is Topo, he didn't come from Topo. And we can call the Topo chief or the Topo uh, citizens there to confirm that that is Topo preschool. Mm. The second question is what? So he talked about roads that you, you about it's the roads. It's, like uh, it's not easy, like he said. It's not easy to lobby. He said easier said than done. That is why governments have given every four years for us to change. If she has tried and it didn't work, let's change and try another person. If it works, we will develop our constituency. The fact that you couldn't do it doesn't mean that someone else cannot do it. That is my answer. Okay, now let's get to some of the other questions. The first question had to do with Ayawasu Central. Uh, he, he said that you contested there in the 2020 election and they voted massively against you. Why are you here now? Thank you very much. It is not a hidden fact that I contested 2020 election in Ayawaso Central. That is where I have built my businesses. And that was my first attempt to politics. I didn't contest as an independent candidate. I contested with LPG, Kofi Akpalu, and it's on the internet. So this is nothing hidden. I contested with Kofi Akpalu to try the waters for the first time. This, the reason why I came here this time around is because my people called me that I should come home. Things are going bad, and you are there helping others develop. And so, me coming to contest as an independent candidate, it's not from my own. I could have contested again, but I decided not to contest on any party's ticket because we are tired of the fact that I am in opposition, I am in opposition. So it is not a secret that I contested with LPG. I did, and the Electoral Commission have the facts. And they didn't vote massively against me. It is an election, and if we can't, even the pre sitting president in 2020 was removed and another came. It is a normal thing for someone to win and another to come up. If you can calm down for us. The next question had to do with whether your name is in the EC register, and also, when they were doing the new registration, where were you? What I can say about the EC register is that none of us here know the work better than the Electoral Commission. If I am not qualified to be here, then why am I here as the independent candidate? I am number four on the ballot, and the Electoral Commission know their work, and if they say I am capable of contesting, then where I was when the registration was going on is irrelevant to this conversation. But many people believe that that is a very relevant thing because usually during the registration, it is the MPs uh, and then those who are contesting who help the people, uh, I mean, go, for, uh, go to the grounds for the registration. So you really think it's irrelevant? My dear, I am a citizen of Shio Sudoku. I am contesting as an independent candidate in Shio Sudoku. Whether I was at the grounds or not, does it disqualify a candidate from contesting? If it does, then why am I contesting as an independent candidate? And number four on the ballot. Okay, now the final question was about uh, women, your, your uh, campaign team have called lazy. And he says that this is an insult to them. 
And so, are these the same people you are going to ask for votes from? About that, I can tell you for a fact, without fear or favor, that that voice is not from my camp. I don't know who did that voice. Honorable Linda went on campaign to insult me. And he forgets, she forgets that I have people who also love me. She said a lot of negative things about me, which I have the video, I can play it. And so out of her insults, some of my fans or her people or whoever, I don't know where the voice came from. They should bring the number of the person who did the audio so that we can confirm if that person is from my team. I don't know where they got that voice from and I don't know why they're associating it to me. It is propaganda. We didn't do that. So you say it is not from your camp. We have, we have many more questions here. Uh, please, let's calm down for the rest of the questions. We need to hear what you are asking. So please calm down and let us hear the questions that are being asked. Madam. Pacho, please adjust the mic. Please calm down. We cannot hear the question. Please calm down. Elizabeth Fiagbenu. Me free glory land. I will flat land it. Me pacho me pesa me bisa honorable Linda. Se osi wa 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 project ni project bebre agusu. Now su ya hu ye di. Papa ya ho eight years. So oba be. Who who free him? Who free area be? Rama Zongo Glory Land. Glory Land. Yes please. Mo who be be our ho? Oh light ni ho. E kwa ni ni insio ni ho. Insio ni ho. Oba ya ho. For okay. Oba ya ho eight years ni se. Our baby, my clinic school is your now. So, you are Wamba up to now. You need light. Is your toy a shower lenty boots and say a baby flag land? What says our shady and wall lenty boots? And say a baby flag land. I'm a fuka. Okay, but I say just for clarity, please calm down. Uh, just for clarity. This lady is saying that she's coming from Gloryland, which is an area in the constituency, and they have not seen any form of development as promised by the current MP. She said she was going to give them clinics, schools, but up till now, they have to wear Wellington boots to get to the land. And so, uh, she's not seen any development there. What does the MP have to say about that? We'll get the response soon, but please, let's get three more questions. Let's go. Your friend, I tell me not the fellas. I tell me not the fellas. He copper, he question a Yakaha PPP candidate. He copper on. Please let's have some order. Let's have some order here. Please, we do not, we do not want any form of violence here. So let's all calm down. Let's all calm down. There are complaints from the independence camp that there are attacks on their members. We do not want any form of attacks. We do not support violence. And so please, let's calm down and listen to the questions. If you do not calm down, we will not continue. So we are waiting. Let's take the next question. Please come forward so we can hear you. Please, my question goes to the PPP candidate. PPP? Yes. Please, I want to ask him. He said he's coming to contest to help Shai Osudoku. And my question is, for him himself, he has established a school from SS to Kinagati. But as at now, the school has collapsed. How sure can he promise Shai Osudoku when we voted for him to come to power, he can handle Shai Osudoku. Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll take two more questions. Two more questions, then we get answers. Please, calm down over there. Be <laughs> Please calm down. 
there's a line there, and so if you have a question, you stand there in the line and you ask. Nobody's stopping you from asking questions. Please, let's take your question. Yo, your family, Fifi. Yo, Dodua Abonya. Na, TV3. TV3 for you, the Masibi Bri. Because me will fear Sana, many papa could be a China or Sandy Edemai. It's in the bomb about so I will join the Amudino, Edema or my Ghana. Your friend is saying, Mimi Wahai, me will ask a neutral person. I'm before I went to my mother, Dodua. Now, Bessay and Tinny, what does he say? Say, we end this in here. Who pay votes at the account of their home? And I will MPP near, and I say, CPP and independent, I pay votes at the account of their home. And it's a Mimi Bejan, I'll be some question. For you to convince me, now say, Mimi, you're now person who attacking me there. It means that you are making no sense out of whatever you are doing. Pacho, my yo, Bia, Messi, MPP, CPP, Party Bia, you are here to convince us. Because me and me, why I mean, yet, don't do any. The Americans is here in the same. Question with Pacho Ekoma Munya. Yama may wabas, I'm a young one, idiot. But my hunu or your honum, I'm rana or born into a bono or by a whole, I'm a yadin como. By the sea, you know, Yenyano, a input to any epe. Intimidate, may say, Madame Independent. Say, 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 they all come on same way. I any panibis, I was a sad year, your lobby, I am go true no. Your lobby, I am go true no. One, then I owe ya the abua. And a two, Mimi area on a memo. There were new sites on my floor at Doom City. Oba Abonya, there were Doom City or Honum. There were Ensure or Honum, but access to the Abena Sensu, you know, the answer ain't to Minka. Oka, almost a young call, this is assembly. Oka, almost a coasse, Oka, a coasse, Sa Nemonina, yeah, yeah. And a three, say, Ope, quiet a whom, Penipona, whom, Ope, quiet a whom, Penipona, whom. As it stands still, no, yeah, yeah, every more, no, and so talk about it. Minko said the mini panicano, yeah, well, investors, me, Nubia Mabaho, iconic Montessori, and now there was some factory before. I'm gonna come to my own, my own, my own, say, Adia Sakura, one more, who's row, Anka, first, and Uncle Adia Sakura, with him, Minko, and Tim Pesay, say, me, who say, Adiana Munina, Moba, Moya, Adia, Abonya, Adum City, but I say. Abonya Doom City, thank you. Um, one more question, then we get answers. One more question. One more question. Please calm down. Please calm down. Okay. We'll get all your questions. Please don't block anyone. Pacho Brenim Kakra, Nayan Tuye. Pacho, me didn't the Rashid Bauer. Na me wo Rahmatan. Me ba Rahmatan, on fan say almost five years ni. Yes. Me ba Rahmatan, 2020. Me ba, me ba, ana me better na ho. Me ba Rahmatan no. In fact, me me area me teno light ne ni ho. Light ne ni ho. Na light ni ho. Me me met ma di mo kome ho. Ne ya tro be biya ya chain light in the free ye. At the bam area. Me na me ya organizer. Me ya area na me ya organizer. Se mudi meti ni ya. Mubeti me di meti. Ami ya ko. Ye ni ya bo bo ya sika no. At the country ya light. At the bar ye. It is a honorable lender. At na akate ya se. Or the light. At the bar. Jehovah Witness. Your friend say. Jide koko. Jide koko. Et le honom na. Na e ya tro. Secondly. Me, me, I do my own dodo market. For four, five years, me, honorable gift. Me, my four. Then tell me, my four, they say, who buy me, who sell you pictures? Pictures now in the market. Market, baby, I need to be the DBN. I am market. Am I a who going now? I'm not doing anything because of market. Oh, dodo market now, that honum no. Say, oh, be driver, crowd, do honum crowd now because of insult or attention. You know, oh, my mura, oh, no, my na, chama komadina. Oma mu free so many, oma mu free agomeda. I bang ina no, omo ye. Every annual one trip, grandpa over to put the agu akra no. Every in bar order. Please, no form of attacks. Hey, excuse me. Please allow him to ask his question. We are all. We are all looking for the good of Shai Osudoku 
And so whatever party must be allowed to ask their question. Please, have you finished? Thank you. We are done. We are done. The person who is honorable in the say, Oba, I won't see market back. Four years ago, the man did not just Oba. Oba, to me, I see market. Thank you. The question is, you know, yeah, say, please pause. Please pause. We've had enough questions. Um, let's take let's take answers from them and then we come to you. You'll be the last set of questions. You want her to ask her question. Okay, you ask your question. You are, you are the last person to ask a question. Bemba wajina ase se ya waka se Five years no no anu waba ramatan Laiti nu hono Wabuwa Wabuwa Because ye ye wa ramatan before anu waba ye Ye wa hono mu Laiti wa ho Rama zongo Mene rama zongo chama na ye kwa MP wa ho Omo manu pol Na omu chu laiti ma omu Mene wa ye ye fwa na ye kwa ni nche Na su me pese mi mbisa flat land Isi yo ye wa hono mu Anabu na wachi ma omu Potter Farm, Ogusu Chi. Into what same bisa ni se? Into bisa o question. Me pesa me bisa independence woman se. Wa hun se di sa o sudoku. Sa o sudoku ya kesi. Enya se em 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 ni ma ma mobiu. Mun fa no em fa kompe. Sa o sudoku dia o di sa o sudoku em pinu. Wa bi an salute nu because enya kuroke tuwa. Anya kuro kutwa enti wo ya oba de wa eti no oba oba hu se de eti na so anya se sugar any middle eye mu chiche no anya no okay thank you we will take some we will take answers from them it doesn't look like the last one was a question anyway it was more <laughs> it was more of accolades being given but uh, let, let's take the answers from the first question that was asked, please, if you can pass the mic to her. Oh, no. So that goes to Honorable. Uh, Glory Land, no development. Uh, they said that there's no development there, as of now, irrespective of the fact that you gave them promises. What do you have to say to that? Can, can you use mine? Yo, thank you so much. Uh, like I said, Gloryland is a new place, and Gloryland is part of Flatland. Gloryland is part of Flatland. My dear, you cannot do all at the same time. And that was how come when they brought a request for electrification extension, I did for them. They brought another request for water extension, I did for them. So that place is talk, she's talking about, it's a new site. And you cannot... Like I said, I cannot have projects in all over the communities. It cannot be possible. Are you get? It's a new site. So she should have said Flatland, uh, uh, where she said Gloryland is part of Flatland. So, so do you have any? Uh... Yes, I extend a light to them, and then uh, electricity. I gave them electricity. I gave them water. Right. Flatland, yes. So that is it. And then um, um, the gentleman talked about Abonya. Um, um, Adum City. Right. It's also a new site. I mean, those new sites. Adum City is also a new site. And like I said, they also brought their request. But, my dear, when you go today to electricity, huh, to a stand light, they, will tell, they don't have even poles. So, at the end of the day, all the project, I mean, 40% of the electrification extension was fully funded by me. I fully funded that project, and then they are charging the uh, electricity bill. So I cannot do all at the same time. You cannot tell me that. So can you tell me that Nanado government has done projects all over? They cannot even boast of a single project here in Shai So that one there is also... And then the gentleman that spoke about the Dodoa market. My dear, don't go there because that market is dear to my heart. When I took office, Leadership of the market, I attest to the fact. I brought an NGO to give them a market. The then DC Daniel Kufu refused that he would not allow an opposition MP to give them market. Ask them whether I haven't given them gravels upon gravels at the market. My dear, all the toes 
that they contribute daily goes directly to the assembly. I've done my part as an MP, and I'm hoping that the NDC should come to power so that we we'll give them a modernized market at uh, Dodoa. So that one they, they can attest to their part. And then Rama Town, like the gentleman said, it's not true. It's not true. I have a lot, a lot of projects in Rama Town. So all that he came to say, it's not true. It's not true. Okay, thank you very much. I believe you've answered all your questions. See if I can have the mic for the others. Okay. Um, there are a few questions that were asked to you. Oh, let's start with the PP. He had one question to him. Uh, the complaint was that the school you have built has already collapsed. So how then can you handle an entire constituency like Shio Sudoku? Right, thank you very much. Where is the gentleman who asked the question? Where is the gentleman? I want to ask the gentleman that currently as we sit down here, what is happening on the compound now? What is happening? I've given it to Ganata and they are using it as an extra classes school for the Ganata, for the whole community. I've run the place for 20 solid years. So it means I've even done better. Single-handedly, 20 years, SHS, basic school, and kindergarten. I want to tell the gentleman that I want to go in there and lobby and bring in a university and then a technical university here. Thank you very much. Thank you, too. Um, so let's address your questions. Um, this question was to everyone, but since most of them have answered, uh, he, he asked what, what you're going to do to help with the roads. He said... Um, the MP has already said she's lobbied. What have you done Please, to help with that? Please, can you project where the children were walking in the water for me? But whilst they are looking for that, if you can start answering... And the other side, the children were drinking the water. I have heard a lot. You see, one bad thing about um, this campaign is that instead of us to look at the way forward and how we are going to help our people, we have turned the politics into insults and degrading and that is really bad because every constituency that has developed has developed well because of change if you are okay with what you are seeing some of the people are not okay with it and so if an independent candidate has come and uh, try to save the situation it is not insult look at what i'm projecting this is where the guy came to speak from abonya this is what they go through every day. The children walk through water to go to school on a daily basis. When I say, they will say, I am lying. I'm showing proof. They have to walk through the water and cross and go to school. Anything I'm doing, I go to the grounds to make sure it is true. And you can see. If you see it and you still say it's a lie, we will look at the way for 7th December will determine. That is, they walk through the water and after they cross, they remove their shoe. All they are asking me, the gentleman asked me, even if they can get two electric poles, or uh, even two wood, I wood on the, on, the, on the water for the children to walk on, it's okay for them. Because those children are not able to go to school during rainy season. I don't care how many times you insult me, I am going to make sure that the people of Shao Sudoku see the truth. There is lack of development and we want change. You, what the honorable MC, the honorable MP says that she's actually done something for that particular area. Yes, what what uh, did you do? The you saw them in water. She just showed. They told me that they needed two electric people, which I've given money to them. I have provided them with an amount of money to buy their two electric people. They should ask Simon, the youth organizer, and the chairman. I have given them money to purchase poles for that purpose. So I don't know what she's talking about. And what about them walking in the water? And that's why I'm saying that. It's a major challenge. My dear, we cannot solve it in the interim. We can only solve it when the party is in power. We have to... Uh, it's, yes, it's a drainage problem. It's a drainage problem. And that is what we have to tackle. People have built all over. So we have to demarcate their place and then give them proper drainage. And that is what can solve the situation of Agatha. What she says, she's just saying it. It's a drainage uh, problem. Right. Now, the Honorable MP says that she has given them money to buy the light post. The issue of the water is a drainage program. They, you say they came to you for help. Did you help them? 
I have been able to provide not just electric poles, I have provided steps, cement, sand, and everything they need to be as an MP. This is the difference between me and your MP. Do you I will not give money and sleep, and the work will not be done. I will be there to make sure the work is done. And Do that's why I have been able work to done. build all those things. You give money to your people to go and give. How sure are you that the money got to the people and the work is done? Do you have proof of the work you've done? Because we've seen the video of the problem. Do you have they, a video of the solution? They have received the things, they are yet to do it. But I can give you a proof no, of no, one no, bridge no, I did in Mateche. You can project no, the Mateche bridge. And listen. She's asking for you to project you a bridge in Mateche a bridge, that it. she has constructed uh, in um, the area. I want to say something. I am not interested in projecting and projecting because I am an independent candidate and I have done a lot of projects. Your MP has been there for eight years and an independent candidate is contesting her on projects. That should tell you that I am capable of handling the constituency. You've been there for eight years and you are battling with an independent candidate over two polls. I am more capable of handling the constituency. It doesn't matter how many times you shout. The fact of the matter is that we lack development and we want change. Look, my dear, I want to come in. <laughs> she I says that come. you lack development, you want change. It is not about showing, and, uh, showing projects and all that. Ah, it's not about bringing people to insult, sorry. Um, we have a few more questions, uh, people to ask questions. Let's take your questions as well. Please, it's a queue. It's a queue. You've been standing there complaining for a long time. Ask your question. Hello. Yo. The other person I'm in can say, "Oh, be a chia wa na bulinda." Nyami shirano, ano nyami asa shirano. Asa no obe ko MP no wa ko ni mama ni mna wa ko tona ni mama ya shirano. Ama shirano idunechi. The other one I'm saying. The other one I'm saying. Linda, why are you here? Why are you here? Because I'm saying Ramata, by Ramata, no Linda, can we Ramata, by Ramata? Because say say Ramata, I'm saying light, but by Linda, I'm saying light, by Ramata. We don't swear, no one is saying by Ramata. And see, I'm a ever Ramata, but I'm in business, gift is a. I'm saying I'm by Ramazo, we no road, we are not road, we are by Ramazo. Please calm down. Please calm down for us to hear what you say. Excuse me. Okay, sir. Hey, Madam Linda, oh Kasano. I go. I go. Madam Linda, oh Kasano. We are listening. Okay, sir. Anka Nikru, Joe Willie, Anna Ojina. But Ofri Muno, Anna Omudi Nubesi, Nanemo, Anna Yako Tumano. Maybe Sadu said, Emma Nikru, Ofri Muno, Majidisa, Projasa, Nikru, Astatisa, Oyan, Onim. Now Nikru was starting toilet to be a Mayan, Ewa Franco. Eighty years in it, says the Adrahoi, Oka, sir. Why you have a baby? Why you tell it to one? I don't see. I'm a pango. Why you be? I'm a. I'm a. Oh, can't you understand? Why you want me to have a baby? Me and Tia say, I know you're not busy. Well, he's asking. He's asking why, irrespective of the fact that the sitting MP has constructed toilet facilities in different areas in the constituency, 
his parts, or which is called what, Bampo, Bampo does not have a toilet up till now. He wants to know why. Let's get more questions. Please, we will not allow any form of attacks. Excuse me, control yourself. We will not allow any form of attacks. Please, police, kindly control them for us. If you can have the police to control them. We will not allow attacks. Your question. Me walk up here and tell me, Mister, I am Mister Sabebre. Yes. Last four years, me vote to my colleague. One. Anna. Anna dear, me name the colleague aye. Into other na ya no mono ya ha ya umu umsa. Ah. Me my entire obinso no no tumba. Say the more obinso the four years with me anya. Then he na free to. Let me vote to Aiden. No abba. Let me vote to Aiden. No abba. Get us. Mimi can papa, Mimi can drop, Mimi baby, I'm Mimi free. I tell him, Mimi do an arm. Mimi, they make no cry. At them, in that arm, Mumma try or be so. Let's all do ba. No matter, no matter, baby. P P P. Away. P P P. Away. Interesting. Interesting. It, it didn't sound like a question. It was. <laughs> we need questions. Please. The mic is for questions. So please ask your question. If you can adjust the mic so it can uh, fit your height. Great. Okay. We are yeah, listening. Yeah. Please. My name is Goswin. Uh, I wanted to ask. Normally, they complain about being in opposition. That's why they were not able to do projects. So what if they have been to, they have... Uh, mistakenly gone to opposition again. How would they help us? Okay. Well, that's a legitimate question. Thank you very much. We would have the Honorable Minister answer. Hello. How many questions? How many people want to ask questions? How many do we have left? The last person. Okay. Hello. Please adjust the mic for him. Hello. I see the honorable leader, one year we were not one. And then, me, me, catch you, say, from the two, not the one, the light system, I was my teacher, last one. And I think she's the very aesthetic, like the airport, and come back, and go into, go down there. It is also on my neck here. Me, me, I've been three years. It is me, I'm going to be here. Patro, yeah, yeah, shut down, see the work, I know. Okay, bye, yeah, that's it. Oh, this is our last question. After you know one else, this is our last question. I go, I go, action, action, action. Ode opio, ode opio. Come and do a pay. No promise, no promise. Okay, my question goes to Honourable Linda Akure Okulu. First of all, I want to ask Honourable Linda Akure Okulu that. Why is she holding book? Why he you know our problem in Shao Sudoku here? And Madam, uh, honorable, what, what, please. What do you mean the, by holding book? We don't Adam, understand the question. No. I want to ask her. I'm, I'm, hello. Okay, we are hello. listening. Go ahead. Uh, hello. I just want to ask honorable in the Akolo group the reason why the other candidate is not holding. A book and pen and paper. That that I, is I'm, that is not a legitimate question. She's jotting okay. down your questions. Okay. This has nothing to do with anything. Please ask your question I'm and let's okay. move on. My second question goes to Honorable Linda Kwele again. I think her area is within Obom. Her area is within Obom. Do I have Obom people here? Do I have Obom people here? Okay. My question goes to Linda Kwele. Why is it that? If you go to a boom, we are having uh, a small water body 
in Obom, which is the Tegu waterfalls, or the Rodwa water, uh, water, the river water. Okay, from Obom House 4 to Obom Party, that bridge have to co uh, contrast, not now. So why is, he, why is he not doing it? My brother is, why is he not doing it? Okay, thank and you very much. Thank you very much. This is our very last. After this, nothing. To obey. And this is to obey. Media Sama and Bisan Bazan and Bisan Sir. Media Mifi Ramatan. And to make a Ramatan was him. Minim Sir Ramatan Flatland. Who was this? You are street like now on Open Edimaya. Minim Sober Ramatan Santa. Street like now on Open Edimaya. Minim Sober Flandy Park. Street like now, street like now on Open Edimaya. Minim Sir I tell you road. Yes, yes, you know, open at the man. And then you can the man Honorable Madam Linda Cole. Honorable Madam Linda Cole. You can go to Ramadan. Maybe you can go to the street now. You can go to the street. You can go to the street. Honorable Madam Linda Cole. Yes. You can go to the street. You can go to the street. Honorable Gifty. I don't even know where Ramadan is. I don't even know where Ramadan is. Because you can go to Ramadan. Come on. Thank you very much. We are done with the questioning. We are going to take our last sets of answers and then we'll wrap up the show. Um, let's start with you, Honorable. A lot of questions came to you. Then we come to you. All right. Uh, a question came from uh, Kwanko. Uh, the gentleman said, mm. why is it that my late husband started a project and I couldn't finish? Please, your MP is answering questions. We need you to be silent so that we can hear her. The gentleman doesn't understand governance. When a, a, a contractor is being awarded, when they award a contract to a contractor, I mean, who are you to go and continue the project? You cannot. And that project he's referring to is a Toilet for Africa project. And that project is in the domain of the assembly. In fact, severally, I've contacted the opinion leaders just to continue with that project. I told them to write a letter to the DC. If DC give us the go-ahead, together with the contractor, we can continue with the project. But, but why is it DC declined. So what I have to do is that I have to tell them to look for a place so that we can start the project. Exactly what I did. And I give them a donation of 10,000, 100 million Ghana cities to buy materials for us to start the bank uh, toilet project. If they are here, they can attest to that fact. And has it started? They, they are, no, the reason why it's not started is because they have to give them permit before they start the project. Okay. And that is exactly what we are waiting okay, for. So the next question. And then um, a gentleman also complained that... Um, Please calm down. Your MP is answering your questions. He said, I've been complaining that I've been in opposition. I've been in opposition. I have never said anywhere that because I'm in opposition, I couldn't do what I'm supposed to do. And that is why I have my green book here. And I agree, if they send a percentage-wise, mind you, I'll give myself 95% because as far as 95. I'm concerned, 95%. I've done my best. So it's the rules we are talking about. If you're an AP in opposition, the challenge you have is rules because the minister is not your minister. You have to tell the minister to come and do the needful. The DC is not your DC. So all that you can even there was a time. There was a time mm. I contacted uh, Ibrahim Mama to give us equipment. If DC, the assembly is not ready to reshape our roads for us. They told us they will give they are ready to give us the equipment. And so Just a permit from the DC, he declined. A permit from the DC he declined. Are you getting me? So I've never said anywhere that because I'm in opposition, I've not done anything. My dear, I've worked. I've built schools, like I said. I've built hospitals, like I said. I've renovated boreholes. I've done over 300 boreholes within the constituency. So what is he talking about? I cut across. I've done everything I have to do. I've done that. So I've never said anywhere that because I'm in opposition, I'm not. You can go the ahead. The only with issue me. has to do with our roads. And that is why I'm praying that my party should come to power so that we can tackle the roads within the Shire of Sudoku District. The Obom, the Obom Bridge, the Obom Bridge he referred to, that bridge has been awarded by the DC. And one thing you are missing, when they award a contract, MP, you cannot do anything about it. When I went to Obom, 
The challenge they had was water. That was what they told me. They said their water is not flowing because they couldn't pay their water bills. So I asked them, they should bring their bill so that I can pay their bills so that they will have a water flow. When they brought the bill, I have to pay their water bill for them. And all poor people, if they are here, I have to go and pay their water bill so that they can have water flow. Exactly what I've done. So I don't know what he's referring to. Okay, Honor, before I go to uh, Gifty for her answers, you seem to have mentioned a lot with regards to the DC not yeah. giving you permits, not allowing you to do some uh, construction work in a lot of areas. Do you think that this is a deliberate sabotage? Oh, yes, it is. It is. Because there are certain things I think that DC can do for us. There are certain things. Please, please, please hold on for a second. Whoever is uh, tampering with a mic, please put the mic down so we can hear uh, MP well. My okay. Dear, issues you said this road. is sabotage. It's sabotage. Issues with road within their constituency. I'll say DC has not done well for us, the people of Shiloh. Why am I saying so? Like they said, we have more than 50 quarries in Shao Sudokuye. Do you know the daily sales they make? Daily sales they make almost 2 billion Ghana cities a day per quarry. Per quarry. All the money goes directly into the assembly. My dear, is the response? MPs doesn't construct road. It's the duty of the assembly, the central government, to construct road for us. If your party is in power, you have the right to construct because, like I said, the DC belongs to me, the minister belongs to me, the president is for me, and myself. So, together, we can do something. Uh, this is not helping the situation. All the queries go to him. He takes the money all right. Nothing is being done. ADC, when we were leaving office, we left a grader. I have requested the grader if you go there, my letters are a series of letters there. Just to release the grader, to reshape some of the roads, he wouldn't do. If you see me reshaping some of the roads, I have to write, and when you go to Topo, Topo, I have to stay 60,000, 600 million just to reshape Topo. I have to write a grader, buy the gravel to reshape. So that is what I'm doing. What this is supposed to do, he's not doing, my dear, because the nose. Shao Sudoku is an NDC area. And my dear, he should forget. All of them should forget because as far as I'm concerned, the people of Shao Sudoku will be faithful and loyal to NDC because they know what NDC has done for them. And when the party comes to power, they know what the party can do for them. When okay. my sister was speaking, she said she has done a lot of her projects in Ayawaso, okay, bear project in Ayawaso. Legend of the contest, 2020 contest. Yeah. Everything out that was shown was shown from billion. here. Out of Ms. one Cotin, billion. everything I showed is shy of Sudoku, out and of you saw that. Billion. You said the schools. Uh, the, the, everything the, the, I showed here was no, shown here in Shio Sudoku. Let, 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 let's let's calm down. Everything we showed and projected is here in Shio Sudoku, you not Ayawaso. Well, let them land. The schools you are talking about is my personal business. Please, please let her land. That's cool. It's my personal a business. Contest. Please let her land. If I'm talking, you are talking. When you are talking, I also talk. Please. A contest here at Yawaso 2020. Out of 1 billion population, Nelenya Menalo, 0.4%. 0.4%. Anaka, she's not a consistent, uh, uh, you know, consistent, uh, you know, candidate. She's not consistent. She's not consistent. Thank you very much. So, 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 like I said, I've done my best as MP for Shai Osudoku, and I'll continue to do my best uh, as far as I'm concerned. And the land will bear me witness. Shai Osudoku will bear me witness. Ancestors here will bear me witness that as far as Honorable Linda Obiniwa is concerned, I've done my best for the people. Thank Australia. you very much, Honorable. Uh, we'll, we'll come to you because I know you have a response. But first, but first, you might have to answer some of the questions they asked, any of them that was directed to you. Okay, so then you have your response. You're listening. What I can say here and now is that I am so happy that we are having this conversation because it will enlighten us to know what to do on the 7th of December. 
Can you please project where the children were drinking the water? Can you please project where the children were drinking the water in the water body for me? The video they are coming to show. Our honorable MP says he, she has constructed 300 boreholes. We have people there working in water. They don't she have said she has constructed she 300 boreholes. Calm down. That is why she comes down. The video. people of Agomeda. This is the children of Shio Sudoku. What did she do for them? What are you telling me? Water. What are you telling me? What are you telling me? These are children of Shio Sudoku. Can you resolve all their water. problems? Look you at what they are drinking. You cannot resolve all their problems. My dear, you cannot resolve all problems. So projecting, projecting, wouldn't solve the issue. Am I on the, the floor issues. or here? My dear, Please. projecting wouldn't solve the issue. Please mute the mic. My, I will not take that. I will not take the projection. You Please. cannot you instruct what to be shown here and what to be shown here. If you take you are not in the position to say what from. they should project. There's a lot of problems. It's a free and fair Why program. It you said you have to bring it here. You said you have to bring it here. Honorable, you cannot. Let's look at the water bodies. You said you constructed boreholes. Please. Let's look at the boreholes. Please allow her to speak and let's wrap up. I have poor homes You there. are not in the position to say Kodiabe, what to be protected and dear. what is not to Go be protected. To I Go to Kodiabe. I am not to Kodiabe. When I, I become have a poor home. I can I have do a more. Poor home at Kodiabe. I can do I more. I have three poor homes. I, I can do more. Three poor homes at Kodiabe where you are coming from. Everything shows why that I am a capable water? candidate. My dear. Two months in campaign and I've done all these projects. And you are showing shares for eight years. I am a capable MP. Okay, I thank you very much. More. We are going I to tell, we are wrapping up the pro And I'm pointing out all these things. And my MP for eight years is telling me she has contract, uh, constructed 300 boreholes. And we are showing children drinking water from the ground here in Osuwe. People of Shai Osudoku, we are joking with the future of our children. When I become an MP, as an independent candidate, if I have been able to do all these things, it means when I become an I, I MP, I can Kodiabe. do better. I have, you cannot, my dear. You, you constructed in Kodiabe. Why didn't you go and construct for these children? I, I did at Ramadan. This, this is a I have, I have a project. All the children the deserve clean drinking water. Project. And we are looking all up to you the as the MP. If, Don't you are, forget, if you are not able I to said, do it, we I change have you. A project Another person will all over the okay, okay, okay. The 300 boreholes I have is cut across all over the electoral areas, my dear. Thank you very much. Thank you very much to all, all our parliamentary candidates. We are going to take our wrap-up words from you. We would like every, every parliamentary candidate here to tell the people of Shai Osudoku they are behind you commit to them or tell them that you are committed to all the projects or policies that you have mentioned here today. You are committed to them and then if they are giving you the nod, come December 7, 2024, you will commit and you will do the things that you've said you do. Please, we'll start with you. Yo, thank you so much. Shai uh, Osudoku, let me speak our local dialect so that they will hear. Makpa de Pes Saminya. Nelenoni MPP within eternalship eight years in opposition. It would be fool her, the people of Shai Osudoku. When I know Wabaya, I do you, I would talk FM. I would talk FM. My, I would talk FM because I didn't have the time to mention majority of my projects I've done. So I'll continue at Doimu. Everybody should listen to Auto FM and then you know all the projects I've done within my internship in office. I want to tell you that ADC, uh, Linda and John Dramani Mahama will work for you. And when I visit their communities, all that I tell them is that, my dear, to partner John Dramani Mahama will work for you people. And when Mahama comes, and there are problems. We couldn't tackle their problems. When you can, we come to the communities, you have the right to sack us. So we'll continue with the project I've started so far. In the law, my day, you kill. Come out, drum. You know, vote him. You know, pale vote at John Dramani Mahama. Neleka, 90% of our projects, we don't do it here on NDC Nepe. Even our district hospital, NDC Nepe. Here on the one, you know, in right chief's compound, now here in the 
before they go to the uh, district hospital. Can they hold doom say? Don't do our doom say. In pain clinic, near the job, near here, near near the job. Head job. In fact, I come at the police station, she shooting near the job. Don't do a fast seven, she shooting near the job. She shooting full, make by the best Samina. Give me the note. Uh, MPP candidate, ke, uh, uh, pali, uh, independent candidate, uh, no cobena ma pay a shah usu dogu. Hene e jepo, uh, ebe single project nga lejo, eba yi one ma mlonye, ma kwa de pe saminya. Vote for NDC, vote massively for MPP. Nene hi o, uh, MPP bi na cho, neba neba pwe wa vote. MPPB, I'm saying on authority, she's been sent by MPP to come and contest here. Let me make sure that the lawyers and send forth to NDC. Vote massively for NDC come December 7th. You don't want to hear anything, Papa. You want to hear anything. You want to hear anything. Thank you very much. Papa, my name, my name on the ballot paper is number two. Number two. And Mahama is number eight. But when you are going to vote, please, all that you have to look for is the symbol of what? Umbrella. The umbrella is what you have to look for. And vote a zoo for John Dramani Mahama and then a Yazza for Honorable Linda Obinu Thank you so much. God bless. Thank you very much. Uh, just to state on the record, we cannot verify uh, whether or not uh, Gifty has been sent from the MPP. These are allegations by you. We cannot verify as a, a media house. And we also want to tell you that if you, in case you are given the nod once again, we we'll come back to this constituency and verify for ourselves whether or not you're doing the things you say you do. Now, Gifty, pledge to the people, if you're given the nod, what are you going to do? For the victory party. Who invite you to come? Thank you very much. First Give of you. all, I would like to address the fact that she keeps saying that the MPP sent me. And it is sad for an elite person to say that because I am also on the ballot paper. So if the MPP sent me and the MPP candidate is there, who are they going to vote for? That is just a propaganda. She cannot stand the fact that she cannot stand the fact that I am doing a lot here. This is unfair. We need her to talk. Your MP has spoken. Let her speak. Action. 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 No, 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 no. Can I respond now? If the NPP actually sent me, I am not here to battle words with you on that. If the NPP actually sent me and they've been trying to contest for eight years, and they couldn't contest you, and they will send me to come and contest you, it means I they see that I am better candidate than you. The NPP did not send me. Any project I have done, I have done on my own. If I were the MP, I would never be battering words with an independent candidate who has contested for the first time. If you are capable, your work must be for you. If you are capable, why did you win? That's why you claim you have project there. Why if you are capable, your... why did you win there? You lost, you lost. I know you are under fire. I know you are under fire. Calm you down. Lost, yeah. I know why you are under fire. You Calm down. If you are better, the people of Shayo Sudoku why have realized how many times they have been dis uh, di di uh, disappointed. I have come for only two months. And I'm still showing projects that I have done. Thank you very much. I Let, let's give the pledge. Uh, so, so you give your pledge and then we get a final pledge from you. This is, all I can say is that. <laughs> Please calm down. Please calm oh. down. <laughs> Please, all I can tell is that. People of Shayo Sudoku, Nene Penny Madenyeji, Kenya here, Benny Wa Madam, Honorable Linda, Everything I have done tells you that I am capable. Come 7th December. Come 7th December, I am number four on the ballot. Look at the little I have done for you. Change this governance that is not helping. Everything she says, she's hiding under Mahama. Mahama is our father. We know what he can do for us. We are talking about you not doing anything for your people. If you don't, you cannot tell what you can do and what you cannot do. 
then you are going Leave to disappoint us again. And we will Leave not allow you. I am going to give my people clean drinking water. I am going to give my people pot, good hospitals. I am going to give my people good education. I am going to make sure that our people get the slots. The slots that are being sold. Government give us police, fire service for free. And then they sell. We are going to bring it to the youth. It is for you. They have sold your slots. They are doing this. She cannot, I am not even here to shout. All I can tell you, let 7th December determine. I am a better candidate for Shayo Sidoku. Action! 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 And we'll take the final pledge from uh, our PPP candidate. Please hand him over the mic. Please, if you can be as brief as possible so we can wrap up. Thank you very much. Chobwe! Chobwe! Please, please, please. They're still in opposition. They don't want to put it. Jehano, as I said, 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 Chapi and this penny man, you mape. PPP man, you madra. Wanga lor wake mango factory, maba manomi. Wake university, maba manomi. Wake schools, papa maba manomi. Chapi na ngesika me fia kanga ni akoto kumi wona ngekle. Ni boko pana ngesika ye. Na NDC. Like in a day ka kesu seven December. Ni vote ami ni made. Etu PPP wame ni mape better. The whole Ghana wanyo wa mabang over three hundred and twenty here. Neko aba wa mape better than these people. Like in a pepa, kebi oswo. Neka i minima de lenenga number three. Kenya sempe. Neka i le. Eje ka wa minima pe better. Mauna joni. Nenye vote a PPP. Ne chumka. Okay, thank you very much. If you're just joining, of course, this is Women's Manifesto. And it is supported by Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office. My name is Judith Brown. I want to extend a heartfelt gratitude to all supporters that came here today, as well as the parliamentary candidates contesting the seat for Shai Osudoku constituency. We've had with us the parliamentary candidate for the NDC, Honorable Linda. We've also had the independent independent candidate uh, Gifty as well as uh, Isaac uh, from the PPP. Thank you so much for joining us today on this edition of Women's Manifesto. We're right back tomorrow. Do stay tuned to the rest of our programs. Bye.